Okay, so like 20 years ago, I was a young theater professor and I wanted in my stage to have a trap door that descended into a staircase, but I wasn't sure how that was possible. Well, not long after that, I went to the Guthrie Theater and I saw a production of Macbeth. And it wasn't a trap door that they had, but they had like a bridge that descended into a staircase. Uh, and so I knew it was possible. So. What I did is I cut a hole in our stage and then I was committed. Now I had to fill that hole with something. And today in this video, I want to show you what I filled that hole with. Because I did, in fact, manage to create a trapdoor that descended into a staircase. And I want to show it to you. So you're watching Hey Pete, It's a Creative Life. My name's Pete and this is a Creative Idea Share. This is a creative idea share that you can watch from there to help you be aware. You can even watch it in your underwear. A creative idea share. Come, follow me. Okay, let's check it out. It's here in the middle of the stage. I got a light on it. When you're up on stage, you can see it. But each of these is steps. And from the house, it's kind of invisible. You can't really see it from their angle. It doesn't really look like much, but this is what we're, this is what we're dealing with here. Okay, so I'm gonna show you the top side. I'm gonna show you the underside. What you should know is that this stage has concrete. I didn't cut through the concrete. There was a hole actually uh, meant for a trap door to eventually be put in. Uh, that had plywood and two by fours and I cut all that stuff away and and I cut the stage floor away But then I was committed. I had to I had to fill it with uh, at least something but uh, This has lasted me for 20 years. The great thing about this trap door is uh, I can make actors rise up out of the ground We can just make it a staircase if people want to uh, travel down into a basement. Uh, it's perfect for stuff like that and we can light from below uh, and make it look cool and scary. I didn't know what I was doing at the time. I had to make little models out of paint sticks, I remember. Um, man, it was a long time ago so I'm trying to tap my brain to remember all this stuff, but I do remember calling every technical director that I knew to see if they knew how to make a trapdoor that descended into a staircase. And I quickly learned that I was on my own. None of them, there were no resources for this at the time. And that's why I'm showing you what I've got. Uh, just so if you wanted to make one of these things, you want to put something like this together or have somebody fabricate it for you, at least there's something that you can take a look at because uh, I think the hardest part about this was devising how to do it. So I'm gonna show you the trap door, I'm gonna show you the inner workings of it, uh, how we have it counterweighted, uh, and we'll get started right now. Okay, so let me show you what this thing does. It looks like a floor now, but as advertised, it sort of folds down into a staircase. So that's what it does. Then actors can go down, they can go up, let me take you downstairs and I'll kind of show you how this whole thing is set up. Okay, so this is it behind me. And I should just tell you that this was made with plywood that is all different colors because it was all from scrap plywood that I have from different shows. And that's, those are the colors that just remained there. So, you know, it's got dust, it's got layers and layers of paint on it. Every show we paint over it. Uh, Sometimes for different shows, we have to kind of take a razor knife and cut the seams open again if we ever want to use it again. Uh, but even for shows where we do use it, we paint the floor. We always paint the floor for every show that we do here at Bethany College. I want to show you wh what I made this stuff out of. And again, too, this is 20 years ago technology, but I'm mostly making this for your reference. And this could be made with way newer stuff these days, but ours still works very well and uh, so I just wanted to make sure that you guys had a good view of it. So I'm below the stage and you can see that uh, much of this is costume and prop storage 
but this is that hole that I was telling you about. Here's the concrete right here. And here's that, that space that was kind of open. Uh, and again, too, this was built across with joists. Uh, and I took all that stuff out. I had to cut the nice pristine boards out of the theater uh, back in the day. They're not so pristine now. Um, but, uh, but this is what I made. And I don't know what kind of uh, mechanism this is called, but essentially I, I had to make step units, trying to keep this all in frame here, uh, that were uh, individual. And then I had to put them between, I guess you'd call these rails. Uh, and this is all made out of eighth inch steel. So you've got to, uh, you gotta have some knowledge of welding uh, if you're gonna put something like this together. Uh, but as you can see, you know, over here, there's the, just the uh, drippings of paint that have happened. But uh, I had to weld uh, something to the, to the actual infrastructure of the, of the uh, trap door area these units were already here and I've got them extra supported to the ground with uh, floor jacks. And then two pillow blocks pivot the whole thing on each side. Okay, so pillow block, pillow block, pillow block, pillow block. And then I had smaller little pillow blocks for each of the step units here. Okay, uh, now this thing does have some pinch points. So when I have people operating this, <laughs> we say grab here and grab here. The other thing is this doesn't go all the way to the floor. So I have this little portable stair unit that the whole, it basically acts as a landing pad for the, uh, for the whole mechanism. So why don't I set up my tripod and I will deploy the thing down here so you can kind of see how the whole thing moves. This whole thing is operated manually, but it really does work pretty easily. Uh, because it's counterweighted. So let me just show you how this thing works. If I go over here and I grab where it tells me to grab, the grab here marks, I can pull this whole thing down. Until it hits its landing pad, okay? And this is what the whole thing looks like in the deployed position. So up here you can see the pillow blocks now tilt down. Each of these stair units here, I'll give you a, kind of a better view back here of what each stair unit kind of looks like. So first thing I made was basically a, a rectangle frame for each step. So this plywood is sitting on top of a rectangle frame. Then I had another frame that was perpendicular to it. Some of you are going to be asking me for measurements and I'm not, I, I just don't have time to get into all the measurements right now. But, uh, but then I've got this little, um, bar here, right here, that goes into the bottom frame. So basically this whole thing is an L shape. So it's eh, eh, like that, right? And that's what each stair unit is, okay? So there's one stair, two, three, four, and it just goes like this, and each of them are the same. Let me shoot this from the front, so maybe this makes some kind of more sense. So here's that, that's, that steel um, frame for the, for the uh, stairs. And then back here is the brace, the diagonal brace that goes down to the, uh, the uh, perpendicular brace. And then this is nothing but something that just sort of lands. I, I realized that I needed a spacer to land on top of the, uh, this uh, movable rail here, like so. And then each of these is pinned in with a bolt, a uh, piece of metal that was also welded uh, on the back side and then going through a small pillow block. So I've got a lot of little pillow blocks, uh, four pillow blocks for each step, and then just these four big pillow blocks, one, two, three, four, where the whole thing is yoked up at the top. But then I thought, you know what? If I can get an actor to put their feet on the steps with enough manpower, I could lift this whole thing up and I could get a, an actor to rise up out of the ground. To make that easier, and I had a student named Nick Bladel who helped me with this, uh, and he just so happens to be, uh, happens to be my nephew, hi Nick. Um, but uh, we have a counterweight system. So this is bolted to the floor 
and basically what we have is just sort of a uh, uh, a sled a counterweight sled kind of like what theaters have for most of their rigging same kind of idea here it's just a movable piece that when it goes down can actually make the trap door rise so in other words so it's at equilibrium right now I've got as much weight on the weight sled as the trap door weighs and it's just going through a set of pulleys here and then a set of hanging pulleys here and again two supported to the ground with the floor jacks so in order to make somebody pop up out of the floor we add weight so this is the amount of weight that equals the actual trap door if we wanted to say uh, lift a 100 pound girl we would add 100 pounds to uh, to the weight stack here generally I've got a number of guys uh, operating this thing a, a person on each side and maybe somebody at the bottom too this just sort of goes down and lands there now <laughs> is that a big step <laughs> yeah it is so if uh, <laughs> if an actor has to step from here to here an actor has to act an actor has to pretend and that's okay because that's what we train actors to do to pretend so uh, but from the audience's perspective we've never had an issue it always looks just fine the audience doesn't know what's back down here uh, they they just see an actor going up and down stairs or an actor appearing out of the stage and here's just a little bit more of of the rigging here for the uh, this is the cable on this side that goes up to this pulley that then goes all the way over to the uh, counterweight system so here's just another angle here's my trap door here's my counterweight I push down on this and up goes the trap door this would be pretty cool in a house <laughs> if you had one of those cool dude houses and then up it goes all the way okay so your next question might be well pete if there is an actor on the stage and they just walk on the trap door won't this thing deploy and the answer is yes it will so you have to be able to lock your trap door some way i've got a locking mechanism that i can just briefly show you uh but then too if this is for a long time uh what we do is we take this big monstrosity over here and it's on it's on wheels can I show you that and that whole thing rolls in place right up against these little uh, landing pad things here too so uh, I've got a way to uh, when when this thing is not being used and sometimes we go years without using it uh, so we want to make sure that it's braced in the middle so the thing won't sag and in addition to that I do have some more floor jacks here the floor jacks then can support the bottom of this too if we need more support so this is just a piece of steel that I use to uh, lock the trap door. I put it up here. There, and it's locked in place now by a big giant deadbolt of steel. So here it is from the top. There's so much I don't remember about making this, uh, but I wanted to show this to you because this has been something that has been very useful to us. And so if you are interested, I wanted this to be a resource so that you could at least get an idea if you were ever to do something similar like this. So is there a lesson? Yeah, I think one of the lessons that I came away with is sometimes you just gotta do something that forces you to commit. What it was for me is I, put a big hole in the stage once there's a hole in the stage I have to fill it with something and so uh, I knew what I wanted to fill it with and so that I gave it a try never tried it before but I gave it a try just to see if I could do it and it's always then of course very rewarding if it works 
if it doesn't work, you haven't really lost anything. And then, you know, I could have put a platform over the top of it or filled it with two by fours, stuff that I was comfortable with and I knew that I could do. Something about this was really great because it pushed me uh, and then I, I was able to make something that was like I dreamed it would be. And those are great moments when they succeed. So anyways, I hope that was informative. <laughs> If it was informative or if you like this video uh, and if this content is useful to you, please don't hesitate to give this video a thumbs up and uh, take a look around the channel. Maybe this is your cup of tea and uh, that'd be really cool if you subscribe to the channel too. In the meantime, my name's Pete. You're watching Hey Pete, It's a Creative Life and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.